Podrick is seen among the crowd that welcomes John and Daenerys into Winterfell's courtyard upon their return to the north. As everyone prepares for the imminent arrival of the Army of the Dead, Podrick is shown sparring with another man just outside the castle walls. His swordsmanship has improved considerably, though Brienne, who is observing, remarks that he still has much to learn. When Tormund brings the news that the Army of the Dead will be at Winterfell's gates before sunrise, all inhabitants of the castle, in their own ways, prepare to face the threat. Podrick ends up in a room with Tormund, Davos Seaworth, Brienne, and the Lannister brothers. He witnesses Jaime officially making Brienne a knight, and when all the wine in the room has been consumed, he responds to Tyrion's request for a song by performing, Jenny of Oldstone. As the army of Winterfell prepares to face the dead on the battlefield, Podrick stands with Brienne, Jaime Lannister, and the Knights of the Vale in the left flank. After the Whites easily overwhelm the initial wave of Dothraki screamers and make their way towards the deeper ranks, Podrick stands with his contingent and meets them head on. Eventually, however, the onslaught becomes overwhelming and everyone is forced to retreat behind Winterfell's wall. Podrick ends up fighting White after White atop the castle walls and in the courtyard. When it appears that sheer numbers will allow the army of the dead to carry the day, they all suddenly disintegrate when Arya Stark manages to slay the Night King in Winterfell's godswood. Podrick is among the few survivors of the battle. Podrick is present at the lighting of the funeral pyres for all who fell during the battle, and during the celebration feast afterwards he ends up at a table with Brienne, Tormund, and Tyrion. As the latter three get involved in Tyrion's favorite drinking game, Pod catches the eye of two young Winterfell women and is seen walking arm in arm with them out of the Great Hall. Following the Battle of King's Landing and the death of Daenerys Targaryen, Podrick travels to King's Landing with Brienne and other nobles of Westeros, though due to his squire status he is not present at the meeting to choose a new ruler. After Bran Stark is named the new Lord of the Six Kingdoms, Podrick is knighted and made a member of the Kingsguard, 